Welcome to the last lesson in the Photoshop beginner class. Uh, I really glad to see you here guys. We come this far. This is the last lesson that you need to know to actually maximize uh, your knowledge about Photoshop. And this lesson, this lesson is about text. Let's get right into it. So the Photoshop text tool is right here. You go and there's this T um, letter and you just click on it. Let's go ahead and click on it and then just choose a random location on the screen. Let's say right here. And then you can choose your font, uh, which basically um, you just go right here and you just click on this little arrow and you just can scroll through the fonts and choose whatever you like. I'll stay with my norm, no, my my normal normal one, the one I downloaded. You can download fonts through the internet, uh, which is really easy. And <clears throat> let's say I'll type uh, the word uh, dragon in this really cool fan, font. Now we can uh, uh, move it with the move tool. You can just click on the letter. You can just move it, and now we have another uh, text layer right here. You can move it um, with Control T. We can actually uh, size it up. Now, if you want to size it up, but we don't want to mess it up, we gotta click Shift and then um, and then do it. Like if we want click Shift, what will happen is this thing. We'll do. We will just get it really stretchy and annoying, and we want we won't look good. So you just click Shift and then um, you just get it really solid, and nothing will get ruined on the way. Uh, so you can just center it right over here. That will look good. We'll put it right here. So we can really mess around with the text options as we, as we do normally. We go to the effects, blending options. Now um, we can basically blend mode and put it on overlay. If you put it on overlay, you get the text really like merging with the, with the image. It can look really cool. Uh, if you get it down a little bit, it will just disappear. But you can actually just put it on overlay, and it, it can look really cool. It's not it's not that type right now for me because you just barely will see the text. You can put it on darken. Uh, you won't see actually these mods right here on this specific image. This one is color dodge. It it, it takes the color from the image and just uh, does a cool effect with it. Um, we got some kinds of stuff right here. You can just choose whatever you want. Um, this one is cool too. I think I'll call I'll go with the color dodge because it just really mixes with the uh, with the with the background. So yeah, this effect um, is really cool. Um, we can also add some drop shadow. We don't want it to be too strong. We just want it a little bit. Uh, it will spice the text up a little bit looks really really awesome uh other glow uh if i'll do other glow i'll do it really 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 low because i don't want it to ruin the wall um the wall thing also we can do it in like orange so it will merge up with the photo um so that looks pretty cool let me just put a little bit that looks pretty cool um now we're gonna move on to the next thing so we're finished with the text guys you can basically do whatever you want with it you can add more uh settings and more effects to it um but pretty much it looks really cool you can just adjust it however you want uh, you can make it bigger if you want you can put it right over here now it doesn't look really good because um when we make it smaller made it smaller it just merged really cool with the um with the background so i'm gonna keep it like this i can do basically whatever you want it's really easy to create text you just you can, you can even create another text whenever you auto automatically cl click the text and then you click on the screen it automatically will pop up a new layer and then you can you can click whatever you want you can type in example and then just hit the mark and then you can move it around whenever you want wherever you want um, we have a different font right now and you have another uh, Layer right here. You can also always uncheck the layer that you've made um, And that's it guys. This is the text lesson. You can literally add whatever text you want. It's really easy You can again 
go to the blending options and you can add inner glow if you want you can add inner shadow you can add stroke stroke on text looks really good depends on how you do it you can add some stroke see it right here you can add whatever you want guys just play with the effects and i promise you you'll get a good result so that was the last lesson i hope you guys loved it um if you did love the class uh you can share it up with other of your friends i hope you did learn some new stuff guys because i did put a lot of time on this um class i really hope you liked it guys that's the beginner photoshop guide you have all the knowledge you need to know to actually start and create content and thumbnails and images and whatever you want to design thank you for everybody that have been with me and in all the lessons love you all guys and i'll see you in my next class